Well, this morning, we are also following a lawsuit from TikTok against the U.S. government. The social media giant is suing over a new law that would ban the app nationwide if its ch Chinese parent company won't sell it. So TikTok says the new law is unconstitutional. They claim it's a free speech issue. But supporters of the law say it's essential for national security. Scott McFarlane is following all of this on Capitol Hill. Scott, explain it all to us. Hey, Anne Marie, good morning. TikTok's legal challenge says it's being asked to do the impossible to divest or be sold to an approved buyer by its China based owner, ByteDance, within months or face a ban in the United States. They say that's a violation of the First Amendment, and they say they're being singled out for their ties to China. In this new legal petition, they argue there's no question this will shut down. TikTok by January 19th, 2025, silencing the 170 million Americans who use the platform to communicate in ways that cannot be replicated elsewhere. Congress passed this law swiftly and overwhelmingly, despite being gridlocked otherwise, arguing that the ties to China here are a threat to national security and a threat to the personal privacy of TikTok's users. One House Republican committee chairman says TikTok is like a spy balloon in your phone. TikTok denies those allegations and is asking a court now to delay or stop enactment of this new law. And Anne Marie, they emphasize in their legal filing, many of the members of Congress who helped pass this law have and use TikTok accounts. But of course, uh, Scott, thank you very much.